It's a very, very slow countdown, that is, Blair. That's online. Perfect. Perfect. Well, hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Uh, at this point in time, we are live on YouTube. So when it eventually makes it to the YouTube channel, uh, when, it's pri when it's public, there are any mistakes just like that one will not be edited out by Blair. Uh, first and foremost, if you saw the videos yesterday published on my channel, entirely my fault. Um, I'm a technophobe and I didn't realise that I was putting public videos up on me <laughs> fucking up live on YouTube. Fantastic. Um, so we're here to discuss uh, Nikola Katic. Now, fantastic signing, in my opinion. A very, very promising, huge, powerful, strong, you name it, Croatian defender who's been capped by his country once. Interestingly enough, in 2017, he's had a lot of caps for the under-21s beforehand, however. Now, the club that he came from was called, and I'm looking at it here, Slaven Balupo. He played 64 times, scoring one goal. Blair, what are your thoughts on the signing? Um, he's very tall, isn't he? He's, what, six foot four? As I said. That is absolutely ridiculous. It's huge. I wonder um, if it's fast. Like, <laughs> can he move? Well, judging, if he would be fast, it'd be at this stage in time in his career. The, the, the main thing that impressed me about him and his statement was he said... Um, the reason why I joined Rangers, or he basically said, when I heard that Stephen Joe wanted me to play for him, I told my agents to get my boots and I'd run there. Um, so basically he was desperate to play for us. And, and this is Dave King. Uh, he, he's made his point now, hasn't he, for bringing Stephen Gerrard in, attracting players to the club. And well, it's already happened with what this young man has said. It feels weird me saying young man when he's a year older, but he's, he's a young man. What he said about us uh, and, and Stephen Gerrard, even all the way in Croatia, of course, he still recognises the fact that he's got a chance to make a big, big part of Rangers' history, a big, big part of Stephen Gerrard's history. And, of course, he knows just the, the masses, masses of numbers that will be watching him play due to the fact that Stephen Gerrard will be managing. Now, no doubt that will attract more uh, attention for him for playing for Croatia. Um, Blair, what do you think about the fact that we've signed someone who hasn't technically proven themselves in a big league? Well, did he play at the Toulon tournament for Croatia? Is that where Chair had seen him? Oh. Wouldn't have a clue, mate. <laughs> it seems like it's a typical buying small, selling big, isn't it? It's quite a an unknown player, so there must be a lot of work went into, you know, scouting like Morelos like last season, where no one had heard of him, and then the next thing you know, he was scoring left, right, and centre. Mm. So I'm hopeful. You know, I like the fact I've not heard of him because in that way. There's a bit I'm on about that. Yeah, I suppose you're right. When, when you haven't actually heard of a player, it makes it more of an exciting prospect because they've got a lot more to prove. At the same time, they haven't proved much uh, previously. So, uh, of course, what do you think about the way that he's handed himself uh, and his statement when he said that he'd run to play for Stephen Gerrard? It's quite... Um, I think everyone from outside Ibrox was like, this isn't going to happen. I mean, too much money is involved, X, Y, and Z. The next thing is in a ranger strip. Um, it just shows the power that not only Rangers have, but Gerrard's also bringing with them as well. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And that Rangers strip that Blair just mentioned, by the way, is not our home kit. No. Stop saying it is and stop asking if it is. It's certainly not. Literally, it's just a badge. It looks and then like a training strip. That's what I understand. Like, it, I, actually, I mean, it, potentially, it could be a training strip. I, I, I personally no, don't know. But all is, I know is that it's like. not the home kit. There is no way they'd leak the home kit before that they actually announced it by putting it on their... New signing. It's just, it's just it's just a stupid prospect. Now we signed him for two million. Yeah, two million pounds is a lot of money up in Scotland, and it's ridiculous. When I when I hear that we're spending two million, I'm thinking bloody hell, that's a lot of money. And then teams down here where where I live, like um, Chelsea, etc., spending bloody eighty million on players. Yeah, so out of proportion, but for us, two million is a lot of money. How mm. do you feel about the fact that a lot of money has been spent on an unknown player? Well, we're looking at Conor Golson as well. Mm -hmm. um, and he's known and we spent three million pounds on him. You know, like you have to wonder as 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 Katic then, you know, that's that's good. I mean, a lot of journalists, I mean there's one journalist on Twitter, I can't mind his name, everyone was slating I'm saying he's not Keith. going to sign Keith. Keith Jackson, yeah. Something like, no, I don't think it's him, it's like some other weirdo. Um he was saying one minute he's not signing. Then he's like, oh, sorry, he is signing. And then the next minute, it was like, ah, oh, but it's not good enough anyway, so it's fine. And it's like, like it doesn't, like, you know what I mean? So it's basically a wait and see, isn't it? You can't really say he's going to be a success or not a success. There's not really any footage of him. We don't really know of him. 
It's huge, isn't it? Because it, it, it's a lot of money spent on someone that's, uh, well, no other way of saying it, an unknown. But that is now £5 million. If it is, you know, if Conor Goldson does sign, yeah. which we believe he has, um, uh, if he does sign, uh, that's £5 million spent to bolster the, the, the back. Now, that's huge money. That's yeah. massive money. Um, <laughs> you see all over Twitter, Celtic fans are saying, where's this money coming from? Um Obviously, we've, we've, we've got a record amount of season ticket sales. We've got huge investment coming in yeah. uh, from Club 1872, almost a million at this point in time. And of course, there was no uh, investment announced, but I personally believe that there would have been. Uh, and of course, the kit money coming through from Hummel as well, or Hummel, however you want to pronounce it. <laughs> nice. um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's very much an exciting prospect and a great indication for more signings to come. Because at the moment, what we've got, we've got, um, uh, we've got, uh, McGregor, we've got Arfield, we've got um, Murphy who signed on a permanent, we've got Cassich yeah. um, now for sure, potentially, we've got Golton too, and of course, what's the name of that, that Liverpool player? Ovi? Ovi, Ovi uh, well, I do not know. <laughs> I well, I'm, I'm terrible at that. <laughs> but the question is, like, I've seen four last had a dream on Twitter saying that there's a lot of outgoings. Who, for you, at the back, would be going? Because now there's potentially two new signers coming in. Who goes out? Um, I hate to say it, I have a funny feeling that we're going to see a lot less of Ross McCrory at centre-back, probably going to be pushing him towards centre-mid now, but yeah. that being said, if Jordan Roster was fit, I can't help but, but think that Stephen Gerrard would prefer to play him over Jordan Rossiter. Um, obviously, thank God Russell Martin uh, won't be coming back um, at the point in time that he signed for us on a loan, it seemed like he would be. Yeah. Um, in terms of who's going to be leaving for them, preferably every other centre back on our roster. <laughs> Fabio I mean, Cardoso, see you later. I think I think Cardoso going alone. I don't think he's permanent, and I, I think Alves will just be either let, leaving a free or um, be a sporadic. Sort no, of there's no way that that Bruno Alves would leave on a free, free because we recently turned down uh, a team uh, in Portugal, Vitoria or something like that, when they put in a good bit of about 250k for him. So there's, yeah. there's not, not a chance in hell well, that we give him away for free. Well, suppose that, but at the same time, if Rangers are adamant keep them, where do you slot them in? Because if you've got two new signers through the door, you know... Well, if, if Goldson ever needs heart surgery again, I'm sure Bruno Alves will be waiting to get into the team. Now, with, with someone like um, Katic, he's a young player. He's 21 years of age. He's huge. He's got great potential, uh, as you can tell by the price tag on him now. Obviously, we're not in a position, and let's not joke that we are, to spend a lot of money like £2 million on an unknown if we don't think he's got potential. So let's not joke thinking that he doesn't have potential. Of course he does. Yeah. But one thing that we can do to, uh, to, to elaborate on that potential and really, really pounce upon it and get the best out of it would be to play him next to or get him to shadow Bruno Alves in training or in games. Um, yeah. And I believe with a stronger defensive part of midfield and stronger defence around him, Bruno Alves should thrive. I mean, I, I still believe that he's... Uh, the best defender in the Scottish Premier League. His CV says so, and he's, he's going out to Russia at this point in time to, to prove that, that he should be. Um, of course, he had a poor season with us, but I feel like he was pretty much scapegoated because of the size of the name that he was and the fact that he couldn't stop on his own um, multiple goals from being conceded. Mm. Um, but I, I think, as your, your question was fantastic, how, how will we get the best out of um, the defenders we have? And I say, um, I, I say he needs to play next to Bruno. You can't. Um, start switching and swapping players because that then creates not a very steady back line. Well, that's exactly what happened, wasn't it, this year with um, Cardoso? So, I say at least one or two goes out this year. Permanent or not, we'll have to just wait and see. I think personally, I can see Jason Holt leaving. Jason Holt, yeah, definitely. Uh, the midfield needs a bit of trimming down. That's, you know, like you've got a pallor in, Holt, Penners on loan. Sub loan. I mean, there's a few. Another loan. <laughs> yeah, right across the board, there's a few players in the way, but um, I would say, especially the back four in the midfield. And in fact, the whole team out. The whole team out. Yeah. Oh, you sound like a Rangers star, don't you? The whole team. Brilliant. Um, and of course, finally, the, like, the last question relating to uh, Nikola Katic. How do you think he's going to deal with the pressure? Uh, the pressure that always mounts when joining Rangers? I think Stephen Gerrard will be a massive help hand in that factor because, you know, he's dealt with those days. A lot of the managers we've had recently haven't really had that exposure as such. I mean, he's dealt with it right through his playing career um, and his international career. And I think if Katic has any bother or any concern, I'm sure he'll be the first one to, you know, speak up and tell him, you know, what to do. Wikipedia now says that he's six foot six and a half inches. 
Um, you read the first, are you read the first um, the, the sentence on the oh no it's changed on the change that it was originally um, Nicola Cattage has come to uh, Scotland to stop Rangers 10 in a row uh, Rangers 10 Celtics 10 in a row and, <laughs> and, uh, and it's been changed back to like you know the place for Rangers uh, earlier I read it was Nicola William the third Cattage <laughs> 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 well, let's just give this a quick refresh and see what the height says now. Because six four is huge anyway. I have a six so, four and a half. It's now six six and a half. Yeah. Oh dear. Yeah. Okay, Blair. So that pretty much sums it up on my part. Is there anything else that you feel that you need to say? Any burning desires or questions regarding him? Um, I have your look. Um, Jordan Monroe says news on Goldson. News on Goldson. Uh, it, <laughs> this cheeky shit probably watched my uh, videos yesterday that I accidentally released. Um, yeah, so news and goals and pretty much is word, word has it that he's signed. We've got a video just waiting to be released. Uh, it's what you need to know about um, about um, uh, Goldson. Yeah. Pretty much all the facts on him. Blair edited it, and of course I did the voiceover for it as well as introducing him. So we're confident that he's going to be signing. We're confident that he already has signed, to be honest. But I thought that we were going to be waiting for Katic and Goldson to be uh, <laughs> to be um, what's the, what's the word for it displayed, shown off, uh, and uh, announced together. Um, what else is there, question-wise? Was that it? Uh, just a few statements. One's, uh, who else do we need? Where else do we need to straighten? Or shed? Who should stay? That's why I answered that. Jordan says, Cardoso is pish. I'd sell him. <laughs> um, and Zander Campbell said, agreed with Bruno. And then Jordan chips back in saying, Holt, Michael Allen, Herrera, Halliday, Hodgson, Cardoso, Pena, all have to go. Yeah, Halliday was, of course, the first to be told by Stephen Gerrard that he doesn't have a future at Rangers, bless him. Um, of course, lovely guy. You can't help but feel for him. You cannot help but feel for him because you know in the best, he has the best intentions for Rangers. And, of course, he cares about us, but he just doesn't, doesn't do it. He can't do it. His legs won't carry him anymore. Oh, well. That's Not for pace. I mean, he's pretty fast, but as in ability-wise, I just think maybe he was a championship player at best. It's a shame, though, because uh, obviously he's a passionate, passionate fan, yeah. really. My God, my glasses look so squint. No one cares about you or your glasses, pal. Any more questions or statements? <laughs> uh, nah, I don't think so. Nothing from Connor, no? No, nothing. Oh, that's sweet. By the way, that guy's last name was Munro. Fantastic last name. I hear they're the strongest and potentially best-looking people on the planet. Uh, that no, no, we will end. <laughs> sweet, thanks very much for watching. Right, sound. <laughs>